Uh, I keep freaking doing it. Uh, hurry everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillen along with... It's Matrix here at your service. And welcome back again to Tribes Vengeance. Uh, yeah, we're doing the stream a bit early today because I have an early stream. Not early stream, I have an early shift tomorrow. So I'll need to go to bed earlier and, well, <laughs> I of course need to stream a bit earlier then because I, I, I typically try to go to sleep sometime soon after the streams, but yeah, sometimes it works less <laughs> well than expected. Uh, let me correct this thing yet again. There we go. And yeah, let's continue on from where we last uh, left off, which was with Daniel assassinating the Emperor. Yeah. And let's think, get the chat up there. And yeah, we're take we're giving chase like with Victoria. This way. Yep. I think I know which way he went. <laughs> And he also, left uh, hmm? Pepper, am I the only one getting very suspicious for the aunt since, well, since we start streaming? No. Oh, that's right. I thought I heard something re re be repaired, but no, it's the freaking turret. Oh dear. Oh yeah, yeah. something about the aunt has made me feel like uh, ever since I saw her, like. Yeah, she's gonna cause us trouble one way or another. She's the true enemy from the very get go. I feel like. Uh, I, I can't give spoilers one way or the other. Uh, what way to go? Yeah, I, I can say that. I can say, say this. You know what I I called it about uh, Julia being the daughter of the two other two. Yep. <laughs> like it is good, but. I had some criticism against it, but they're also very obvious. It's, I, I have not really been surprised so far. Like, I, I wouldn't be surprised by the way the, uh, the Emperor being murdered by him if you're not just so. so painfully obvious almost. Where it started. How many turrets did he pull out of his fucking ass? <laughs> oh, so the hell kind of shaft is this? I think... pass, <laughs> okay, Gandalf the, the Gandalf the yellow here trying to block us off. Uh, that's going to hurt. Yep. <laughs> I was trying to be slick and just. Speed on it, but yeah, the longer you fall, the more momentum you build up, of course. Oh, hello. Uh, let's see, in your supplies here, yes, some health. Um, I don't remember exactly, but how long, for how long the game still is from here on. But we might be able to finish the game in this stream. All right. Okay, that hurt less this time at least. Oh, yeah, now. Actually, I don't think we have to bother with these guys at all. There we go. Okay. Next level, or next bit at least. If I recall correct, I recall somewhere that the game has like 18 levels or so. Victoria, you are entering the engineering section. That bastard can hide anywhere. Watch yourself. Oh, oh, come on. Again, how many of those things did he pull out of his fucking ass? <laughs> Holy. Uh, But yeah, there is certainly one thing that I'm certainly yeah, that I'm curious of. Like how old, how what is the age difference between Olivia and Victoria? Because they are sisters, uh, but Olivia looks like she's like freaking fifty or sixty. 
And Victoria likes these in the 20s or 30s. And 30s might even be putting it a bit high. Yeah, I think you might be right. In a way, she actually looks older than her freaking father. Make haste, Victoria. Even our father's killer must be trying to escape the planet. But, yeah, let's just leave that aside. Um... Hmm. Ow, snipers. Um... That's not helping my... That's not helping my case, of course. And I need to get some health somewhere quick. Yeah, yeah, those snipers really hurt. They don't look like they outdo. But they, they cut through our health quickly there. But if he had brought a bad sniper weapon, if it, he didn't. How many freaking Phoenix tribesmen did he bring along to this to the Imperial capital? There they are. Uh, where do we need to go? Because we really don't need to fight each and every one of them. And I should probably put down a quick... Actually, not a quick save. I'll just put down a normal save. Just in case I would screw myself over. Yep. Like that. Uh, sometimes like the game is actively trying to... Uh, punctuate what I'm saying, huh? Uh, <laughs> Even quicker this time... Okay, at least we have a, we have a save. Did you seriously okay. screw yourself over with the save? Let's give it another <laughs> shot. Otherwise, we can try oh, the start from this. Yeah, this save from the start of the stream. Uh, any med kits? Any med kits? There's a med kit and an energy pack. Okay. Okay, that's good. For I was worried, like. Uh, you said you were to save it to avoid it getting screwy over. Because with yourself, screw yourself over with a bad time save. Yeah, oh, this way. Uh, would that count as ironic? Uh, I think it would. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's another pack. What is, we have the blaster, we have that. And okay, standard outfits. Oh, this way, I see by the mini map. That there's, yeah, there's, this is the way to go. Or somewhere around here, at least. Let's see. I should maybe pick up a shield pack like that. I haven't actually used one yet so far. Uh, at least I've not activated one before, I think. Um... I'm not entirely sure if we've ever really gotten an explanation of what the shield pack specifically does. But, yeah, it, it kind of says it right on the tin what it does, huh? Yeah, the... I'm not sure if you've seen you even use it. Okay, it's not giving the glow effect when you use it yourself. Oops. Burner. Um, let's take it instead of the shotgun. Ow. Well done. Like, seriously, how many... How many freaking people did Daniel manage to smuggle up? On board. It's your last chance. Turn back. Got an enemy. Nice shot. Go. Let's put down a quick save at the corner here. Just in case. Oh, that's a lot of snipers. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, sorry if I seem a bit more sedate than usual. That's because I... Yeah, I only woke up like an hour or two ago. Yeah, yeah. Let me tell you this again. If the Wurzer's clue is missing you, help up. It rapidly shares your sleep says clued. Maybe yeah. an idea to, for another job for... Again, you... As far as I know, you did not get military training. Nope. And that people are missing is in military I hear that you actually get special training to be able to well fall asleep whenever you can basically. Well I have been finding it easier to uh consciously go to sleep by uh, ow. <laughs> not by walking onto freaking landmines. But by uh <laughs> yeah, just taking s slow uh, deep breaths. Uh in through the nose, out through the mouth, and that sort of stuff. Someone's going to clip. Somebody is probably going to clip that. <laughs> Put it out of context. <laughs> Giving you a last warning. Wasting your time. You're not going to find him. Unsure how, but I'm, if I think I better and don't ask how. That would be taken out of context. <laughs> Let's see. Was it only that guy? It yeah, Daniel's really good at just vanishing into the woodworks. <laughs> That's not going to reach. Oh, there's another. I maybe should have picked up one of the sniper rifles a bit back, but oh well. Ow. <laughs> just short. Okay, at least I've avoided taking fall damage. And they're just camping up there. <laughs> Alright. Just gotta wait for the energy to recharge. Yeah, this is exactly when you are at your most vulnerable because yeah, you, you're you waiting for it. Your mobility is highly dependent on your energy, so if you're out... <laughs> You're an easy target. There we go. And there should be plenty. Yep, more than plenty to get up here. And this way. And I think... Yeah, we're at the end since the minimap is ending. At least a transition, apparently. Turn around, Victoria. I don't want to hurt you. I don't blame Same. you for what happened. Flame? Are you? I'm coming for you, Tribal. I'm... Terminate comms! Wait, what? Yeah. Are you the traitor? Yeah, the and Phoenix are calling Victoria traitor because, well, she's been killing tribals left and right. Uh, but yeah, don't forget to save. Yeah, right after, I'm not going to save because I'm getting shot at by a heavy armor. Well, I did save, save earlier, but no, no, you had to run into fight. Again and again. There we go. go. Good boy. Have a cookie. <laughs> Okay, what did that open? This? Okay. Yeah, this way. The killer was stupid to contact you. We're tracking him now. Is he close? Yes, prepare yourself, sister. Yeah, that was a bit overkill. <laughs> Probably basically dead there. Uh, yeah, we're going to, have to go all the way up there. Uh, hello there. And goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. Blood. Yeah, where's the... but, yeah, seriously, how many did he get on? Like, wait, I think we've killed like three dozen at the least so far. Oop. 
bye bye whoever that was yep did he really just fall all the way down i'm one <laughs> i'm not much to speak when i fall down myself at least luckily not the entire way all right <clears throat> Do you want me to tell the people of how often you fall off? <laughs> Too often. In the unlikely situations? Alright, you know what? I would say it. <laughs> Hero is one of the few people I've ever seen play off that repeatedly threw himself off by accident high in the sky for an Argentavis. I've never seen anyone accidentally throw themselves off and die. Mm. <clears throat> okay, I, I probably should have grabbed some freaking coffee earlier, but I will. Uh, I'm so bad. <laughs> I did not expect that to be a direct hit. <laughs> Also, how the hell did Daniel get someone in heavy armor onto the Imperial capital? Like, I guess they'd let, they'd let him take an entourage, but... Uh, heavy siege armor? Then again, they probably just smuggled them. Yeah, that's all. And they probably smuggled half of these people, if not all of them on. That way? There we go. We're catching up to him, finally. And just in case, we transition immediately. Yep. Alright. Where are you? I don't want to fight you. You say that with my father's blood on your hands! I only want to know why, Princess. Why? Was this your path to the throne? Was it so important to you? My father would... Was a butcher and a betrayer. But I thought I knew you, princess. And I thought I loved you. Tribal. Yeah, this uh, Romeo and Julia story went dark, huh? Well, the original is also dark, but it went darker. He has repair pods. Yep. And I don't think I like this story so far. Bubble Doo 2! I... I can Some drama you need in some shows are not sure, but... There's a limit. Get rid of that. Ow. So I have been expecting that for a while now, there's something gonna happen. Well, the game is called Vengeance after all. And yeah, the most common thing with Vengeance is that it goes around and around. ever run out of ammo. And again, only a, only a select few games have that, ha have that happen where an enemy can actually run out of ammo. And there we go. Yeah, I kind of like that, when they can run out of ammo.
Victoria. Are you all right? What shall we do about the body? Leave it for the rats. Oh, get out of here, both of you. Victoria? It's Olivia. Are you... I'm pregnant. I see. Don't worry. <laughs> Olivia will take care of everything. Sleep well, brother. I promise. You'll see Victoria again. Very soon. And once again, back here. <laughs> it's the first time we've seen one, seen one of those from the outside. And once again, to the Jericho present. Knew you died with him. I didn't kill him. Perhaps. Now you're here seeking answers. But do you even know the questions? Who am I? You want to learn if you are a child of the Phoenix. Our life is a life of trials. Beyond these doors, you will find your trials. If you complete them, you will know what you have come to learn. Interested? What must I do? Choose a tunnel, equip yourself, and follow the rules. And if I fail? If you fail, do not give up. If you fall, you will rise again. Right. Let's go. I think she means that she has respawn tech active here. Before starting a trial fledgling. Let's see. And uh, yeah. <laughs> it's another the, tutorial of sorts. The trial of the nest. The fledgling must fight opponents far better armed than she. Go ahead. Uh, see, that, that phrase sounded very Phoenix-like. Rising from the ashes and all that. <laughs> That's the entire state with them. Defeat your enemies using only a buckler. Okay, they have a few separate lines for that. That That is nice. Often games will have a singular line about that. Use the buckler's deflection to protect you from your enemies. But don't be afraid to fire it when the time is right. Ooh, a new toy. Sounds fun. Are you ready to begin? Yep. Ten seconds. First time we, we can use the buckler, which, well, it's a freaking shield. It, and it yeah. That kind of makes sense. Uh, what? And yeah, you can freaking Captain America this thing. Oh. Damn you, I, I was planning to do that joke. Uh, where'd it go? Uh, oh, it, it came back automatically. Uh, well done. Once more. I was trying right, to say, that tech makes sense. A small, popular size thing to give you a large power shield. Yep. It makes sense, kinda. It's a bit more portable than a huge uh, riot shield. Well done. There we go. Once more. Energy projection sure. would need a lot of power, though. But yeah, we're already in a future where they can actively respawn people if needed. If yeah, and stuck. the buckle could be big enough to uh, hold the battery as well. Probably it's also thick enough to root to take. The battery. Basically, the tech butler here is basically its own power generator. Uh, and yeah, respawn. Okay, we're going to have to restart that. <laughs> this is going. This might get annoying with some bits. Um, I've actually forgotten what the trials specifically are. 
put them to save here. Again, Maybe on finesse. Your enemies appear from all sides. Keep moving and time your attacks yeah. carefully. Fine, let's get on with it. Are you ready to begin? There we go. Uh, your repair pack Ten should seconds. help keep alive. <laughs> keep us alive. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, is it just going to restart us with one? Or is it just going to resume? Okay, just one again. Yeah, the buckler is nice and all, but it doesn't do jack against... Oh, okay. It out it reflected the spin fuser. That I didn't know. Good. Again. But we're still taking damage from... Well, the area of effect good blasts. Oop. Come on. Yep. Come on and fire, not stab at my face. <laughs> get stuck again. Luck Luckily, they don't keep it away from you if it gets stuck. Because that would be a rather bullshit thing. Why weren't those being deflected? Do we, do we specifically need to be hit on the right side for it to reflect? It, it didn't ref Yeah, something's going on here. It, it, screw it. You are dead. Oh. Be reborn and try again, fledgling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the trial of finesse. Defeat your enemies using only yes, a Yes, yes, shut up. Yeah, technically, I don't need to quick save, but it would save us this trip back down Again. here. Are you ready to begin? Ten there we go. Or wait, does it require power to reflect? That could be it, since it's another. Yeah, yeah it, it has the power symbol. It's begin. of course it's going to be. Yeah, I, I think we might not have had enough power for it to reflect. Still, I'm going to keep him there. In, in the right side of vision. That was close. That one, okay, I'm not getting what specifically we need. Hmm. There's something we're not, we haven't been fully told, I think. Like where it needs to specifically hit or something. Ahead, yeah, but where on the shield we need to be hit because we've had we we had multiple hits there where it was a direct hit on the shield but it still exploded instead of reflecting like it should have. Impressive. Show me more. There we go. I think we're going to get double teamed now. Let's see if we can get a repair in quick. Ow. Okay, now we have it confirmed that your regeneration isn't interrupted. But it does well, remove the amount of damage it <laughs> took from how much you are going to regenerate. Okay. Come on. Ow. Putting down that quick save so we don't have to redo the earlier bits, and hopefully this is the last. What? Where did it even go? Actually, now that I think about it, I, I think this looks familiar. I, I think this bit is also used in one of the ma multiplayer maps or something. Okay. Or at least I might be recognizing assets from it. Oh. Let's get a repair in. Oh, come on, Dev. Let's break it. One more hit. I 
Tarik, tarik. Okay, one down. I forget how many to go. Let's see. Perception. Okay. The trial of perception. The fledgling must prevent their enemies from destroying the heart of every base. The generator. The... How does that tie in with perception? The enemy will focus on destroying your generator. Use their single-mindedness to your advantage. Are you ready to begin? Uh, where Ten is seconds. the... Uh, here it is. Okay, so basically they that expect a order. quick draw of you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you need a good perception to spot the enemy to protect the generator. Yeah. We don't have a mini map, so but we do have <laughs> we do have them screaming their lungs out. <laughs> Where are you? Go. Ooh, that's going to be tough. Go. There. Might actually be better if I just fly up to one of those points. Did you just... <laughs> you shot him in the knee! <laughs> I used to be a phoenix, but then I took a laser beam to the knee. Getting as annoyed Again. as we are. Time your shots wisely. Better to inflict more damage in a single shot than to fire many weak ones. Are you ready to begin? Yep. Uh, this time Ten we're cheating. Seconds. Should be a lot easier to spot them from this distance. But yeah, this, this is basically another tutorial on sniping. Then again, you could consider most single player campaigns uh, in games that have multiplayer like an extended tutorial it just depends on if they can wrap it up in a nice package for it to be a, well, a good campaign or not a good uh, extended tutorial or not there we go much easier to shoot when we're at the same level huh also a lot easier to spot them since they contrast against the, well, the shimmering behind them uh, hello <laughs> there Okay, 50 seconds. Going much easier now, I say, as I miss my shot. Oh dear. Oh, come on! You... Yeah, that was a I groin see. shot. Are they starting out hurt already? Yes, they're already starting out at half health. Okay. Yeah, if we were on hard mode, we, they probably would have uh, been at full health. Probably dealt more damage. Yeah, miss. Sit still. Oh. Effective 
Contested defense requires a knowledge of all things around you. Your perception has allowed you to keep your generator safer than any other who has attempted this trial. I have questions I need answered. But are you worthy of those answers? Fine. You want to see worthy? Give me the next challenge. The Phoenix chooses her own challenge. Okay, those two are sealed off. And I didn't know it was actually keeping track of sort records or, so, or something. <laughs> if this game was released 10 years later, that would have been a Steam achievement. The trial of dexterity. The fledgling must deliver the ball to three different <laughs> goals within the allotted time. Okay. Quick save. Even though it's not really needed. The are spread throughout this cavern. You must score once in each goal. Search for them high and low. All right. Let's do it. Are you ready to begin? Oh. Ten seconds. Okay, where's this ball then? Begin. There. Okay. Uh, do we actually have to throw this stupid thing? Yes, we do. Yep, and completely miss. <laughs> okay. Uh, how? Oh, we have only about a minute or so. And, down. and I remember something. Yep, I thought so. Come on, get out. Water physics Wait, is it... aren't too bad, actually. Wait, is this an extreme version of American football? Basically. <laughs> if you add in jetpacks. Okay, now there should be one more goal at the top, I think. You know what? I, I'm just going to call it soccer, but that's what the, the rest of the world will call it. Uh, soccer is what... <laughs> is what uh, no, what people normally call football, like with the kicking around and such. Um, Helian, football is when you kick the ball with the foot. Yeah, but Only Americans call that soccer. The trial of dexterity. Deliver the ball to three goals within the allotted time. Yeah, American football is called rugby everywhere else, Again, if I remember correctly. Rugby is something else! Julia getting snippy. Ten seconds. Yeah, from... Actually... Oh, can I have to think about that? But I think rugby is, is similar to American football, but... Begin. Has some differences, I think? Probably, but it is the closest thing. With, uh, yeah, what Americans call soccer being called football in every other uh, English variant, I believe. Yep. And what uh, we call football, they call soccer. Yep. Okay, let's start with that one up top, since it's actually behind a, a lock. That almost rhymed a bit. Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Come on. I should have expected that, but okay. At least we can bring it up to the lower goal now. And yeah, I, I think I remember there being a game mode based entirely around just chucking this thing around. I don't think I ever played it myself, though. And we're not going to make this, I think. We had an energy pack, which would have been a lot easier. Your time is up. Try again, fledgling. Damn it! The trial of dexterity. Yes, yes. Shut Deliver up, the Esther. Ball to three goals within the allotted time. Again. Are you ready to begin? <laughs> okay. At least she's cutting herself short Ten this seconds. time. Yeah, no, not many games would. Begin. That's one. Okay. 
now we go up. Oh, I see what's going on. I, I thought each of these were at the same at the same height, but no, they they bounce around in an upward spiral. There we go. I I think that one almost fell back down. <laughs> it was just a, almost just a bit short. And then the last one here is the easiest. Oh, well, probably not the easiest since there's literally one circling around here, but it is. It's hard to miss this one. Excellent work. Your sports background has granted you superb dexterity. None have completed this trial as swiftly. Would you There's wish no to need. Know? Who was my father? He was the man who loved your mother. That's not an answer. Perhaps you should examine your questions. No. Wait, were they, were they all sealed off? I think there's one that's... Let's see, dexterity, we, wait, we already finished that. Okay, I thought they stayed sealed after. Uh, we finished dexterity, st perception, and... Finesse? Think... You've you not done stamina, have we? No, we haven't. Okay, so I, I was just going around a bit too fast and thinking that the game was, uh, yeah, sealing them all off. Let's try this one. An adaptation as well. The fledgling must seek out and destroy her targets in a difficult environment. Let's see. You must seek out and destroy the enemies positioned around you. Remember to think in three dimensions. I'm I think pretty sure we had a jet, old timer. Are you ready to begin? Ten seconds. Use the grappler to pick up distant health and ammo. I, I didn't actually. Oh wait, we're we're in we're in zero gravity. And actually, we we've seen that uh, the grappler can pick up items. We, we we used it to grab a gun when we were playing as young Julia. Hello, little tree. <laughs> no, hello, little tree. Uh. Yep. Stay hydrated over we here at my end. What do you about helium? Uh, I, I had a quick drink before the stream. So sh I should be good with that. Then. Well done. Once more. Let's see. There we go. Uh, we're. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a direct hit. Uh, yeah, we're getting closer to the end of the uh, game. I think there's only like a few more levels after this one. But my memory... Well, I, I, I've spoken ad nauseum about how not good my memory is. Where is... Someone's firing grenades. Where are you? And so far, this is the easiest one since it's just simple killing without a time limit or so. Hello. Then the zero gravity makes it even easier to just stay locked. Hey, beast. You know what? You are wise to know you are not infallible. Your ability to adapt to circumstance has allowed you to best this trial in record time. Was my that was record? A tribal? Yes. His name was Daniel. Thank you, Litri, and have a good uh, time you, for yourself as well, there. Answer See ya. Me. Uh, dexterity. And yeah, thanks for being around for a bit. No matter how short. Oh, speed. The yeah, always speed. welcome guest. The fledgling must complete sure. a number of laps within the allotted time. Ooh, dear. So you can use your environment to your advantage. The current walls and catapults are your guides. Sounds easy enough. Are you ready to begin? Ten 
seconds. I just do like that how big the areas in this game can be. But uh, yeah, the whole deal here is to just get back and forth real quick. Okay. We should have plenty of time for that. So we can just we can even get a catapult or two to help speed things along. Even if it it it'd be tec technically it'd be faster to go in a straight line, but the the catapults give a good enough speed boost to keep things going. Especially once we, if we stop skiing for a bit and lose a lot of our momentum. That was a bad move on my part. Come on. Missed. I should not stop skiing. I should keep that button pressed the entire time. Okay, 30 seconds for three laps. Should be good, I think. If we can just get some momentum and keep it. Go. Uh, yeah, we might not make this. Hmm. We're back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. You are too slow. Try again, Fletchling. Damn it. Oh, well. The trial of speed. Complete the laps in the allotted time. At least there's no Time fail states. Oh, wait. I forgot about you. I'd forgotten I about the speed tax boost. Are you ready to begin? Ten seconds. Begin. There you go. Much better. Oh dear. And yeah, like she also said, we can, well, we can basically rock a jump to keep going. Uh, yeah, let, th let this serve then as an example of how, how big of a difference you can make if you're not you know, making use of these techniques. Go. So I think the energy pack is what is helping the most here, since it's a lot more directional with its boost. And another. raid upon our reservation. Hundreds were murdered. When Daniel found out, he took his revenge, and your mother killed him. But why go through all that trouble? Why take the risk? It doesn't make any sense. Tribals kill Imperials, and Imperials kill Tribals. Your father thought he could change things, as did your mother. They were wrong. Did we do stamina? The trial of stamina. Oh, damn it. The fledgling must survive for the allotted time while protecting their flag from the thieves. This is going to be practice for capture the flag. The enemy will try to steal your flag. Bring them down before they get near. Or if necessary, put yourself in the way. This one sounds a little tougher. Good. Are you ready to begin? Ten seconds. Uh, there we go. Okay, the game of flag defense. I gotta say I like the designs. And the, the fact that they actually move and such. Let's see. Nope. Thank 
you. Even though a single turret is likely not to do too much. Come on. Oh, that's... The trial of stamina. You must survive, but do not allow your flag to be taken. Okay, that's a better wording. <laughs> you should have started with that, Esther. Again, don't just wait for your enemies to get near. Plan your defense before they begin their attack. This time for sure. Are you ready to begin? Ten seconds. Hmm, I wouldn't. If, if we just stand on top of it ourselves, can they take it? Oh, the turret yeah. remains. Okay, that's good. Hmm. Where's we need? There. This could get very frustrating, depending on how many waves they send at us. Oh, we need... Okay, they, they're not sending waves, they're just... We're just completely timed on this. At least they're not fully rushing. Maybe the... they, they Maybe they are... Maybe their AI is programmed to be a bit more cautious when we're directly between them and the flag. being too aggressive either they, they could have just rushed in and grabbed it which is well what most players would be doing no you fucking don't let's put a quick save just so just so we don't have to restart this from the very start it looks like the light armors are only being here as a, are only here as a distraction. Yeah, it's the mediums that actually move in. See, you. See. Grab this thing. Come on. Dear. Go. Thank you. Hmm. From what I remember, most of the time it were the, it were the light armors that still grab the flag because they're so freaking speedy once they get moving. Which well makes them very hard to hit. <laughs> oh, we get a new one. He easily could have grabbed it there. That was the game taking pity. The true Phoenix can outlast any attack. Just despite the Phoenix is her own teacher. Prove that you have nothing left to learn. You and I will duel. Defeat me, and you will have your answers. Equip yourself with medium armor and a buckler. Let's see if you can fight as well as you can talk. Yep, and the final trial is going to be an outright duo with Esther herself. And here she comes. Yep. Okay, at least it's not the heal repair pack that she's using. Not that activating that would do her much good. 
it, really? And again, one of the trials was to, to, to take on enemies with better weapons than you. There we go. One last question. Why do the Phoenix kill their own? We don't. So who does this belong to? I've seen that helmet before. An assassin infiltrated our reservation before you were born. He didn't succeed. We learned he was an Alaxian mercenary. This one's a cybrid. They've been subcontracting for the Alaxians. But who is the client? Daniel died thinking he was betrayed by your mother. But the bodies of the raiders we killed that day bore tattoos. Both Blood Eagle and Alaxian. Somebody didn't want my mother and father to succeed at bringing the tribals and Imperials closer. Where Alexians? are you going? I know an Alaxian. Maybe he can point me in the right direction. We'll go with you. If you're onto something, you could be in danger. I can take care of this alone. Maybe. But being part of the Phoenix means that you don't have to. No, they accept her <laughs> readily. Yeah, Alaxians. That's the first time I remember Albert, hearing about can them. Can you hear me? It's Julia. Albrecht, I need to know about the Alaxian. Albrecht, what's happening? Julia, where have you been? Blood Eagle terrorists have struck. They've taken hostages from the Imperial Palace. And Aunt Olivia? I'm afraid she's been taken. Sellers 3, we believe. I'm on my way. Hold on there as long as you can. Well, so much for the Imperial Palace being secure, huh? That's like, what, three attacks by now? You put my people at risk for the sake of the Imperial Regent? Have you learned nothing? If joining the Phoenix means I leave my family to die, then count me out! Rachel, Isaac, suit up. We have an Imperial to rescue. Again. But yeah, a false flag attack that led to the trawler, huh? Eagle Fortress just over the hill. Roger that. Have you ever piloted a jump tank before? You'll need to use its main guns to penetrate the several blockade doors to gain access to the fortress. I'm a fast learner. The gunner will accompany and assist you until you reach the fortress entrance. Then you're on your own. Why is this thing so twitchy? <laughs> the, the tank's nervous. Nervous tank. Um, okay. That's something. Yeah. Okay, for now, back to the tank, but this time actually going to be using it for a bit longer, I think. Yep. What? Something's missing. Something's missing here. What, right of the Valkyries? No, no. Sabaton Steel Commanders. I still haven't listened to that one yet. I really need to find a moment for that. You should. It's, good. it's a good song. Yeah, yeah. It's under control. The first blockade is coming up. We need to take it out to cross the bridge. One or two solid shots on the main gun should clear it. Now that was one and two. There we go. Three. Probably should have shot at the turrets first, because those anti-air turrets work pretty well as anti-tank as well. I marked it on the radar. Looking forward to it. Oop. There's a little fire coming this way. Uh, we're going to need to be careful with the tank in a bit. Yeah, we need we need to get out and repair this thing. So much for Wait, couldn't they just fly over this entire freaking thing? You've got jetpacks, you can fly over the gates. Then again, it, it's it's the middle of the Eagle territory, so of course there's going to be a, lot, a fucking lot of them. Yeah, and the tank is supposed to be a uh, equalizer. Okay, this time we're taking it a bit slower. We're taking out turrets before they can open fire. 
<laughs> yeah, from a good distance as well is possible. Boink. Be careful in the ravine ahead. The freezing water will not do good things to this tank. Yeah, yeah, it's under control. The first blockade is coming up. We need to take it out to cross the bridge. One or two solid shots from the main gun should be ready. Oh, yeah. That, we, that we might, might be. be it's wrong. Uh, we may be in a tank, but that doesn't mean we're invincible. Yeah. Uh, what you said uh, about tank and board remind me of us on YouTube uh, some week ago. Uh, have you heard of Ultimate uh, Epic Battle Simulator? Uh, yeah. Looking forward to it. They made a second game for the Epic of the 2. And then you freeze it like if you kill all bodies, a lot of blood we can actually form lakes. Okay. And someone put in a few tanks and several marines on a tiny island surrounded by water they inserted themselves with the god powers there. And they killed so many zombies that the water turned red. And they and it got so much higher that he actually drowned a tank in blood. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to look that up. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised about no no, the the tank's not gonna die zombies. He could have drowned. <laughs> Because, yeah, yeah, mechanics don't really like how, how I shot myself there, I think. Mechanics don't like, really like fluids. They're yeah, not like, supposed sure. To be. Sure, first it sounds cool, but when you think about it, it's actually horrifying. Yeah. You kill so many zombies that you end up drowning in all the blood. Over, yeah. Ugh. Okay, 75% about should be well for the moment. And yeah, we're just going to keep bullying the inventory with the main gun. But yeah, I, I can see why some people would get tired of the campaign since a lot of it does feel like a glorified tutorial. Or maybe I'm just noticing it more because this is not my first playthrough. Oh, well, it, it is pretty obvious. Here and there. But, yeah, I still think we had this game released not at the same time as heavy hitters like the Half Life 2 and the Halo 2. Yeah, I think, I still think the Tribes uh, franchise would be a lot more active these days. Because, yeah, Tribes, really? Tribes Ascend, from what I hear isn't actually that active with its player base. Where did you two come from? The bunker? Oh, over, over, over the hill! What's that? Over the hill! It's a beagle! It's a beagle! <laughs> I was actually trying to think of that stupid song. <laughs> Hello and goodbye. <laughs> I am still occasionally terrified over how in sync we are at times. Go take every opportunity. Miss. There we go. Next to Mortar gone. Yeah, mo oh. Mortars are would be your most deadly enemy as a jump tank driver. And I do like the I do like the damage bits that parts fall off and will magically reattach them when you repair the thing. I wonder how directional it w oh, is because I. When we were fighting tanks earlier as Victoria, um, I think we might have been attacking the tanks from the same angle, but it always seemed like the panels that we were firing at fell away.
There we go. Okay. Safety. Come on. Uh, this is their territory, Julia. I mean, we've only been picking on. Uh, oh. I get the feeling Julia's only been picking on the, uh, the Phoenix uh, during her combat uh, missions. She'll be picking on the bloody ears as well, you remember? During that contest? Yeah, yeah during this. What I meant, it, that would be just the. Uh, during sports, but when she would be heading into active combat, I think she might actually have only been facing Phoenix. <laughs> the Phoenix are a lot more scattered, I believe. And yeah, if, if you if you swap out the snow and starts with desert, this would totally look like, almost indistinguishable from a Nod base. <laughs> yeah, I would. Hmm. When I think about it, what the hell does Nod even stand for? It's a word in itself. Uh, it, they capitalize each letter as if it's an, 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 an acronym. Ugh. Why was I having difficulty with that okay. word? Hey, I thought not Nod was something else. But it's a hand of Nod. And I think I heard Nod was something from the Bible. Hmm. Maybe I've just been reading stuff wrong. Uh, I might have to refresh and watch another uh, Nod video. Thank you, Esther. Okay, safe and safe. And here we go. I could have buffed up the repair pack a bit for that, Julia, but oh well. What is your position? We're at the Eagle Base. Watch yourself, Julia. They're bound to put up some resistance. Thanks for the news flash. Don't worry, I'm ready for this. You should be able to um... use the access codes I gave you to penetrate the security systems and locate Olivia. Check your radar for the location of the central system. I think I know what you're thinking about. Why is he hazed out like that? Yeah. He's and in on it. Or it could be that, uh, yeah, just, just jamming situation stuff going on, then the audio should have been affected as well. So I'll just keep my lips shut. Well, on that specific bit. Really, though? Is that a fucking pool of blood? Really need to keep an eye on the health now. That was a bit <laughs> specifically avoiding the spin views to avoid self damage. I, I do just, I do really like that they have random parts just lying around everywhere. I was all... I thought you blew some of legs off. No, these are... Well, technically they are just probably just the legs stri taken straight from the model. Uh, but yeah, I, I do like that the locker rooms actually have pieces of armor laying about. As if they were hastily put on. Maybe it is the ragdolls that I just love the most about this game, but it's just so freaking fun to see these... to see them just flying around like that. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, now my cheeks are starting to hurt from just smiling so widely because of those stupid ragdolls. <laughs> Up this way. You 
Oh, hello. There we go. Yeah, I, I think my interception Listen, aiming. I have Olivia's location. She's being held in a bunker below the fortress. We are encountering some heavy resistance on the surface. Please hurry. Yeah, I think my aiming with intercepting them is getting has gotten a lot better since the start of the game. Or at least I'd like to think so. Even if a lot of my shots still go wide. Yeah, anyone else? Doesn't look like it. You have Olivia's location, though, and I have access to the Blood Eagle security system. These corridors should be clear. Proceed to the main bunker entrance. Got it. So much for should be clear. What is clear is that Albrecht's intel is bullshit. Oh, come on, I was hoping for those... <laughs> I was hoping for those two to explode. <laughs> It'd be hilarious. Just thunk a grenade off of the side of them. And... <laughs> and that. Uh, any more health laying around? Mm, nope, okay. We need to be really careful because they are not screwing around. Safe. Ooh. Out of grenades. You said these corners would be clear. I'm sorry, Julia. Please proceed to the bunker. Come on. We can't squeeze in here, so we can't get at their hells. Come on. Oh, energy pack. Good. Let's keep the repair kit, even if it's repairing is rather slow. It is still not useful. Okay. Nothing down here. Hello. Imperials, listen. I need some assistance here. Keep your lies, traitor. We have our orders from Albrecht himself. What? What orders? Open fire! Right. Oh, they're coming in from above. Okay, let's just get out of there. Uh, yeah, I guess Albrex figured out that, uh... <laughs> well, it was pretty hard to miss that you know, Julia's been cozying up with the Phoenix. And, well, we know how that went last time. I'm pretty sure they know as well. But then, what the hell are Imperials doing in here? Surprise! He's still alive! Yep. Well, he is also a cyborg, after all. A, a cyborg? Is it still a stupid name? <laughs> cyborg and hybrid into one, like... That, that, I, that one is just too cheesy for me. 
I personally like it. But uh, yeah, Albrecht is Mercury. You could say his alliance was mercurial. Or his allegiance. <laughs> No comment! <laughs> I bet that that one was a bit of a... Um... That Moose Shemist would uh, uh, get. I do wonder, what the hell does tautological mean? Uh, wait, what? It, just look in the you know, subtitles up there. Tautological. What the hell does that mean? Like. Just go outside, eh? I, I know. I feel like I know it. But I forgot at the moment. And yes, only in the final act of the freaking game have I learned to. You have done well. You have learned things you were not authorized to learn. I'm catching up, Alaxian. See you soon. Uh, I forgot what I was. Yeah, it's only at the freaking end. It's only at the freaking end that I keep. Yeah, you know, that I finally just quick save whenever possible. I will do yeah. one to avoid stream lost you forever. <laughs> and what are you to say? Uh, yeah, Elbrax may be Mercury, I have but watched you see? for many years, Princess. I have incorporated your abilities into my subroutines, your strength into my logic systems. I am confident I can kill you. He's still just a pawn for someone else. And... Oops. There you are. You might not want to use a sniper rifle at close range. <laughs> Especially with someone as dodgy as Julia. <laughs> that was quick. Almost an empress, yet still a child. Do you know what I saw when your father shook hands with my father? I saw the end of the Empire. And so you betrayed them. I manipulated events for the greater good. I had Albrecht stage a raid on the Phoenix base in Imperial armor, while your father was with the Emperor. You tricked Daniel into killing Grandfather. Yes. And then what was your mother to do but kill him? They never understood that war is the engine of the Empire. And I wasn't going to sit back and watch your idiot mother and her half-breed freak of a child destroy all our family worked for. And now what? But you think I'm some cardboard villain who will confess her clever schemes. Only Seti and I will know the truth. And Albrecht. But poor Albrecht isn't talking. Is it time? Good night, child. Surprise! <laughs> you could ask first. Okay, the, the slow-mo was a bit jank there. <laughs> yeah, the sound effects were a bit out of sync. 
Oh well. It is still an almost 20 year old game. And that's just bad we with the text. We were able to reconstruct text. Albrecht's entire data bank from his cranial processor and we're able to figure it out. I took that for alien, didn't I? Julia, we don't think she's died. I'm going back. Why do you think Rachel saved you? Her life is worth ten of mine. All I've ever lived or known is a lie. Uh, then face this truth. Awkward pause. We were kind of lucky that she didn't shoot off the auto half as head in. <laughs> this mineral sludge occurs naturally on several Phoenix reservations. Harmless until you heat it to 10,000 degrees or so, at which point it vaporizes into an extremely poisonous gas. <laughs> the awkward silence. Uh, Olivia. Are you going to process that? What yeah. would happen if a light tanker loaded with this mineral were to crash into a population center? The Imperial capital, for instance. <laughs> oh, this footage totally isn't going to look staged. <laughs> 20,000 from the impact, maybe another 100,000 or so afterwards. The latter would be slow and painful. <laughs> I think the game is starting to unravel at the end. I see. And what about a heavy tanker? So how the hell did you get that? <laughs> those angles, Albrecht? And here we go, Vengeance, the final level, if I remember oh, correctly. The spaceship is powering up for launch. Too hot a jet. How can I get up there? It's still tethered to the gantry. If you can take down the energy barrier protecting it, you should have access to the cargo elevator. How do I take it down? It's powered by three separate power stations. Take out the generator at each station, and it should come down. Well, yes, we also know why... The aunt is much older. She's only half our aunt. Or mm -hmm. just a step aunt? For the apparently they had different fathers. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure Olivia. Uh, I'm pretty sure Olivia also referred to the emperor as her father. Yeah, but she. But there she said uh, with our uh, fathers. In uh, no. uh, she means the Emperor and Daniel. In that way. Uh, I'm still unsure for her. Okay. Well, at least what I'm saying here would at least Sweet. make sense why she was not in the throne. Olivia gave you permission to talk to me? That and so much more. Someone's glad someone's happy to be a lap dog as long as he gets the bite. Oh there. And then him maybe the lead of the blo uh, bloody eagles, maybe he wants to re rejoin the Empire as their uh, knights again. Yeah, uh, I, I think Seti is just more than happy to just murder, pillage, and everything else. Uh, let's see. I need to find a repair kit somewhere because we are already quite low on health. <laughs> we were one hit away from death earlier. Let's see. Oop. You. Uh, I need 
need to focus because, yeah, we are one mortar shell away from death. Ooh, just one unfortunately close. Ooh. Spin theater disc. You up. Okay. They wanted to help us by sending us towards the med kit, uh, but instead they just killed us. <laughs> oh dear. And at least we aren't too far behind. We have the med kit here that we can pick up. Yep, and I'm gonna make a sandwich. To be right back, says I doubt I'm gonna be missing much. Okay. Oh, that should be that one done. I should be using the freaking shield as well. Oh, wait. I thought it killed you. Maybe someone else went into the turrets. Anything down here? We oh, there's trouble down here. <laughs> That's what. <laughs> Bonk. Uh, yeah, we need to find a supply station or something to help heal us. Okay, come on. There we go. And this one's too damaged, and we wouldn't be able to use it anyways. Let's. Let's take this a little bit sneakier. Play, take a note from Elbrecht's book and snipe from a distance. Oh, there we go. That we can really use. That should be a turret cleared. Yep. Okay, where's that mortar? It's a waste of shots. That. Oh, hello. Hmm. What the hell happened to that one? Where corpses just bounce around like that? Uh, he must have been sent straight up into the air or something. Okay, there we go. Um, what do we need to interact with? The air is pointing up. Oop. There you go, and I'm back, and I'm... What the heck is happening? I heard you scream. For, well, laugh. Uh, one of the corpses was missing being stupid again. And are they not stupid? <laughs> now, I think one got launched into orbit and it came back down and just ping-ponged around a bit. Okay, health. Leave it paste. And... There we go. Uh, there's the power generator. Okay, so the marker only shows where the base is. Ow, shrapnel. What a clever, clever child. Been digging around in Albrecht's head, have you? How many more innocents have to die, Olivia? There are no innocents, Julia. Only the powerful and the weak. One feeds on the other. Victory and defeat are but political fictions determined by the Empire. Don't you mean by you? One and the same, child. Please, it's not too late to stop this. The tribesmen only want... Tribals. Those savages aren't content with the crumbs off our table. They want the meat off our bones. I will not stop until every one of them is run to <sighs> Hey, yeah, uh, just... The ego on that bitch, huh? Uh, now that I think about it, could that have been a reference? Actually, probably not. I don't. I don't actually remember when 
the Star Wars prequel trilogy came out, could, but that could have been a <laughs> that could have been a perfect uh, I am the Senate uh, reference there. I'm sure at this point. I don't know what the voice actress for her I heard before. She usually does uh, those kind of roles, uh, a uh, new woman or a uh, no some of nobility. Okay. And probably half the time, if not more, the ones that betrays people. Uh, when, when the voice act, you know, when the listed voice actor or character can be considered a spoiler. Yeah. Go. Now someone else was taking pot shots at us. Where'd they go? Up there. Hmm. Now a bit of a question for you, Drakir, for future oh. shooter games to stream. Uh, should we keep it at normal difficulty to give a bit of a challenge, even if it can get us, well, frustrated at times? Or should we just run everything on easy, so we can just do everything for the story without much of a challenge? I see easy, but also depends on the game. Yeah. This one's being a bit easy... trickier be because we have to be thinking in three dimensions and such. Yeah, for some games on easy are extremely easy, but all games say easy, but it's not really that easy to begin with. I think with some games in the 90s or so, when they were ported over from Japan, that they for some reason changed the namings of the... Well, not just the names, but they changed the difficulties around and how they were called. So basically, uh, I don't know... I don't know how many games with this was, but I know that it was with at least one where the easy mode was normal mode uh, difficulty in Japan. And uh, yeah, from there up. So there was literally no easy mode in that game. Or was it that normal was hard and that there was no easy to begin with or something? I think I have something similar to that. Uh, to that. But yeah, they're not to be surprised. Okay, let's deal with the generator. This time without shrapnel in our face. <laughs> Did it hurt to find out you're a half-breed? Please tell me yes. Did it feel like being ripped in half? Give me a minute, and you can tell me what being ripped in half feels like. Yes, <laughs> what? What so is with him? Yeah, he's just a pure sadist, that's what. He cares about nothing but inflicting suffering on others. Uh, speaking of, uh, what are your thoughts on Julia, actually? But, uh, is Obi Julia at the moment? Yep. Interesting, even though we mostly seen her angry. Yeah. Her, her mother had set up a bit more depth than her in the beginning here. Yeah, she got her, well, she had more time actually as well. Uh, that was outside of combat. Yeah, overall, I. The, the story of this game isn't amazing or anything, but, but I still like it. Is it not horrible? No, it is. It is uh, hard to get surprised. Yeah, keep in mind the first time that I played this game, I was a lot less experienced in uh, predicting story beats and such, so it did catch me by surprise. <laughs> <laughs> and that I think is also something that. Uh, you have to keep in mind every now and then when he, when uh, judging games by their stories. Like, of course, for old farts like us, it's easy to predict stuff like this because we've seen dozens, if not hundreds, of stories similarly. 
similar. Yeah. But hey, you people. Yeah, they'd get a lot more out of it. They'd, yeah, they'd get a lot more enjoyable out of quote unquote simple stories like this. Yeah, no, even as a, as a kid, I had easy time to predict the story. I just didn't yeah, say it out loud for obvious reasons. Yeah, but I, I yeah, still enjoy them. Okay, this even if I was able to predict them quite obviously at times. But also, we just meant the times as a kid when I. Uh, were wrong. That are usually what ha uh, happy was wrong or angry world was wrong. But depending on the situation. Okay. Ow. Uh, when was the last save? I think at the bot top of this base. Um. No, a bit further back. Still close enough. And earlier I was bragging about that I was finally quick saving a lot. And <laughs> I forget the quick save between the stations. Uh, yeah, sometimes simple stories are just fun on their own. So you don't have to uh, yeah, get too complex with thinking about everything. Like, not everything has to be a Macbeth or something. In my, but I, I, I think you're using the wrong story for a reference here, my pal. Uh, it, nothing, it, not everything needs to be Shakespeare, let's put it that way then. Yeah, that's better for Macbeth means... Uh, and so we're gonna die. <laughs> well, those you, plays you, do a lot of damage. You know Macbeth is a cursed play, right? Uh, yeah, just consider it me tempting fate. Yeah, uh, like... Uh, I think you want... Like in three, two, one. Yeah, I think you can speak about it just... Maybe speak it out loud in a theater or at a play. Yeah. I think people today are nervous of hearing that name. <laughs> uh. There you go. Uh, like, half the fucking fun of this game is just ragdolls and jetpacks. <laughs> uh, quick save? No, 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 no. Half the fun is ragdolls with jetpacks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I really hope someone picks up this franchise again sometime and gives us a... a uh, just ace a new game and story. Yes. It's, I, and if they do, all I ask for is no matter what else, I just want. Is this worth it, Julia? It... You were an imperial once. No, Olivia. I was a lie. Your lie. All I ask of a new <laughs> tribes game is just jetpacks and rag dolls combined. <laughs> I think even a, a, a spiritual successor would be a good idea. Yeah, it could also work. Hmm. I'm just... I'm just thinking about something. I remember... I think I said or was... At one point that this is the only Tribes game with single player or something, but I remember when I tried to play Tribes 2 that there was some sort of campaign, or then again I never got out I never got out of like the first two minutes of the game because you get immediately shot out of the sky. So yeah, it, it might just be it's a, a big tutorial without any form of a out attempt at a yeah, putting a nice wrapper around it or not. Hmm. I'll, I'll have to double check that game. Yeah, the, the lore about it seems very scarce on YouTube. But that's usually a warning sign. Yeah, not everything really requires lore. Sometimes just having jetpacks <laughs> in, in a setting is just good enough. But it's always you nice to have war. No, Olivia. 
Yeah. That was a lie. Your lie. Did you consider Julia a triperial <laughs> mixture of tribal and imperial? And we're getting a bit I'm tired of having to dodge. I'm gonna give that one at a answer. Uh, where's the entrance? Well, yeah, I think you really, really tried to make a yoke of it and failed. Yeah, I wasn't really trying either. Yeah, it was obvious. Oh, oh. I, I, I went to the wrong side of the stupid thing. I was thinking that the marker just showed the general area, like with the previous two, but no. <laughs> But yeah, I think we can just head on in and just fly past all the defenses. And we're going to quick save after this line again because yeah, we've heard it. This is this the third was time. It, Julia. You were an imperial once. No, Olivia. I was a lie. Your lie. There we go. <laughs> Two of them literally trying to take a stab at me. Okay. We should just be able to... Yes. There we go. I'm hoping to thought you died in elevator there. Impressive maneuver. Almost worthy of your father. I'm kind of busy now. Would you mind if I killed you later? <laughs> no way in. No way out. Okay, so that's the devices that put up those shields around ev everywhere. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Just open up freaking <laughs> anti uh, fighter cannons on us. Better luck next time. Okay, let, let's try and take care of these first because they're now going to be the most dangerous with... Now, oh, come on, the bullets aren't even coming out of the freaking barrels. They're coming out from <laughs> beneath it. And I think this might actually be our final fight. It certainly has a bit of a feeling of for that. Not a good idea to get in front of this freaking barrel gun. And Said he really owned. <laughs> Wait, was that even a phrase back then? <laughs> I'm not even sure. <laughs> yeah, ow. Yeah, perhaps we were busy to run when they started to become a phrase. Wait, when did we get a. When did we get a shield pack? But, uh, oh yeah, I think I remember. I think people say it a lot. I just back then, I myself never used it. Uh, but because I also found the rule, nope. owned it as a weird phrase for being in a game. Nope, we're one hit away. Probably going to die. Yeah, uh, but I still find it as a weird phrase. Okay. Come on, come on, give me your health. There we go. Okay. I don't mind having to try this again, but it's just we are low on supplies in this fight. Yep, there we go. Okay, maybe we should focus more on Seti. As long as we could move in, the turret shouldn't be able to touch us. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, come on. Immediately we get shot in the face. <laughs> yeah, the, the turrets aren't really good at tracking us. They're <laughs> behind us on every move. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me at all to learn that Seti has the maturity of a schoolyard boy.
And there we go. As we get rid of the bullets. <laughs> Drama queen. The override. Knock, knock, Girl Scouts. Just like your mother. She didn't know when she was defeated either. Your charred corpse on this ship will confirm what we already know. The Julia, the half-breed freak of a princess, was behind this attack. And how do you see that happening? Like this. Yeah, and of course she fucks up in an escape pod again. It was a trap. Now, I don't think they planned for Julia to catch up with them here. Really, we're just surfing through the atmosphere. Okay. I'm all right. Olivia got away. I can't believe I let her go. You stopped her, Julia. Your father would have been proud. Would he? Yes. It would be my honor to tell you about him. I'd like that. Do you think someone could come pick me up? I'd like to go home. Are you all right? She's moving. That's impossible. It's too soon. She's gonna be wonderful. Daniel? I'm worried your father won't like me. I'm worried this is all gonna blow up in our face. No, we don't know if he will. But if he doesn't, time is a funny thing. No matter what happens, eventually, somehow, we'll find a way to make it right. And that was Tribe's Vengeance. All right, and with time to spare. Yeah, it's um, 10 minutes about. Uh, yeah, that ending might feel a bit uh, underwhelming, and that's actually because from what I've heard, they were actually planning to patch in DLC. Before DLC was a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Still, uh, Julia avoided uh, a, a massive false flag terror attack being performed on the capital city of the Empire. But still, the tribes and the Empire are going to stay at war with, uh, yeah, Olivia now as Empress. But at the very least, uh, actually, they could probably just spread that uh, you. They could probably spread the footage that they got from uh, Elbrecht's head uh, across whatever sort of internet <laughs> the tribe's universe might have. Uh, but yeah. Story is a bit incomplete, but still not the... They could have ended it in a lot worse places with cliffhangers and such. Yeah, it could have been done way worse. Yeah. Hello, Game Arena, Homeland, and five for hosting servers during closed and open beta. <laughs> Alice and Mini for the constant flow of delicious muffins. For providing the recommended daily intake of caffeine. All the wives, children, <laughs> partners, children, and ferrets who have been extremely patient. Ferrets? <laughs> <laughs> it, it's always fun when developers have a bit of fun with the, you know, the credits as well. Yeah, it is. Uh, but yeah, this game is 
it's certainly flawed and it's definitely not for everyone. The, the jetpacks do add a level of difficulty in, well, just maneuvering and getting hits on targets, and which might not be for everyone, but still, I, I like it. I like it a lot. I can think about that, but it, it does have a charm. It's very unique. Like, the store was a bit average. It could be, could use a bit more polish, but it was not terrible. Yeah. But the world itself and the gameplay definitely gives it a some plus. Uh, let's see. Like we've said multiple times now, this game did come out in 2004. And I'm going to repeat what games it released alongside with. And the next game in the franchise actually came out eight years later in a... <clears throat> in uh, 2012 tribes ascend and since then the from what i know there has been no information on the franchise getting another game or such which yeah i've said it a few times already but i'd really like a new game in this franchise yeah so i guess they are it's more meant to be a uh, arena game than a story game true Still, no, I'd, I'd, I'd like I'd like more uh, context and information about everything because that election stuff, yeah, that was completely out of left field, and they, they don't even actually explain what the hell it means to be election. Is it like from a specific someone from a specific planet or something? Or yeah, a, I, I noticed something shoot? weird about that. In the beginning, it was spelled like a, a single word, but one thing is it's spelled like a. Like it was a two-word name, like it was a, a, a Middle Eastern style, like Al Alaxian. Yeah. Which may be a bit confused, like was that a typo? Or was the typo earlier? But... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see, Irrational Games. And I think we're at the end of the credits. I'll have to check what Irrational have been up to recently. They, they were the same people behind System Shock, if I remember correctly. I think I specifically brought up what other games they made. Uh, Hold on. Aren't, oh, no, did have you told me they are to remake System Shock? Uh, there is a remake act in the works at the moment. I don't think there is a set uh, release date yet. And... Might be what they are working on could be or at least whatever remains of them and under what name they have now i think they were absorbed by 2k we talked about this in an earlier stream i believe in the second or the previous one now i forget specifically which um but yeah there, there was also work being done on system shock 3 but from what i've heard that project is basically dead in the water so, okay yeah Still well, hope that will get picked up, but uh, I don't. I'll have to look into what happened. Maybe it is still active. Maybe it's not. Uh, it's just been yeah silent for quite a long time, from what I've heard and known. No, no. Oh dear. But yeah. For now, uh, where I keep losing that freaking list where I wrote down what games up I. I I reach to my left and grab a random piece of paper and it's immediately the correct one. Okay, let's see. Next up for the main week streams is going to be another... We're still... We're going to be dealing with games that I grew up with and have nostalgia for for quite a bit still. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six games to go still. And uh, But yeah, next week, if possible, due to work, We'll be starting with Zanzara the Hidden Portal. Ooh. And yeah, we'll be, going from sci we'll be going from sci-fi to fantasy. Nice. Uh, but for now, let's have a little look if there is someone we can raid. Because I've forgotten this often enough that I really need to keep reminding myself to do this every time. And let's see. Okay, Korofel is online from the uh, from the Minecraft server. She isn't streaming Minecraft, but she is streaming Rust. 
So should we go raid Hearn? Sure, I'm gonna fire the cannons. <laughs> I am okay. currently logging into work Oop. though. I thought I had this all muted, but yeah, <laughs> a bit of a preview of what she sounds like. Okay. okay. I want to say, is she with you? <laughs> no. <laughs> that had me go with a split second. All right. Slash raid. No, not raid, not rads. Paste and enter. Okay. Uh, yeah, next week we'll be starting with Zenzara. I'll try to put in a Monkey Island and Minecraft stream this week's, in this week still. But we'll have to see if that's possible because, uh, yeah, work and all of that. We'll probably have to stream early on Saturday and late on uh, Sunday for that. So maybe like right. 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. You meant like that? I thought you meant in uh, we do it reverse. <laughs> the hell most. Uh, no. But yeah. Um, until then, though, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Lil Tree, for visiting, even for a short time. It's still appreciated. And as always, thank you as well, Rick here. You're most welcome, Captain. Now, where's my gummy worms? <laughs> In the barrel below deck. Om nom 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 nom. Okay, but until next time, uh, have a good day. And until then, everyone. See you, folks. Mm, gummy worms.